even the biological clock that we all carry. But if you look at vegetarianism, veganism, ve veganism is one step extreme to the you know of vegetarianism, you know, avoiding anything of animal origin. But you look at this: 30% of the poor in India get their free protein from sea, fish. How do you avoid this? Is it, the, it I, for me, veganism or any of this? They look like a cult diet. Exactly. They are a creed diet. This is this is you know this is exotic and exotic diets. <laughs> All kinds of things you see. Why do you why yes, do you agree not, with them? Yeah, I absolutely agree. It is not it's not on a science based diet, because. Um, but a lot of, lot of research has actually gone into this. No research well, can research, be done on anything. Yeah, you yeah, know, you sure. can do yeah. research on anything. Come to so, so many findings, mm -hmm. and uh, we really don't know. I I, I we ha what research I have seen is uh, in the standard books and in the standard journals and what uh, uh, Shalini was telling a little while ago that B12 deficiency is a fact, calcium deficiency is a fact because the quality of calcium in, from milk is much better and then iron deficiency also could be a problem but then vegetarian diet, vegetarian when we mean is the Indian vegetarian diet wherein a small quantity of milk is used, uh, there is no avoidance of ghee and butter because now we very well know that you cannot just depend only on oils. Now they say oil free, I I fat free, it could not be an oil free diet because veganism may be uh, using a little bit of the vegetable oils also. I don't know whether they do that no, or oil not. Seeds, they, know. Oil they, seeds they use oil seeds, seeds so they will, also, they all contain yes. fat. They will get the fat. fat. Yeah. And there is something known as the invisible fat which is there in the yes. grain based diet and in India a large quantity of our uh, essential fatty acid uh, requirement is met from the grain based diet that we take legumes and cereal combination. Yes. Now we should not talk only about veganism and vegetarianism, it's a mix of uh, many foods and in the vegan diet that you are talking about here, we should not give a wrong message to the people because they will uh, land up saying that uh, not consuming milk is good, which is not. You should consume a vegetarian diet, it is good uh, and uh, it actually detoxifies. I would uh, like to differ from uh, what was said a little while ago that it <laughs> somehow produces more toxins. It does not happen that way unless you are eating things which have got a lot of pesticides but there are ways of getting rid of the pesticides from fruits and vegetables also and it does not uh, create uh, much load on the body because starch and uh, fiber are very neutral kind of uh, nu uh, nutrients okay. and you must remember that a vegan diet is uh, not science based a vegetarian diet that is recommended yes. by our National Institute of Nutrition that is the recommendation or the dietary guideline of the government which says that you must have uh, all the five food groups in the diet and they make allowances for the meat although they don't say that it is essential to consume meat but milk is very essential component of a balanced Indian okay. diet being recommended which is based on science. All it right. has Yogi science Ji disagrees with you on that if I'm right but uh, we'll slip into a short break so don't go anywhere. <laughs>